Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to be sewing the Modern Manda Convertible Bag. Uh, this bag has a ton of options, um, and if you've already watched our video, our last video, we did the three-in-one option. On this video, we're going to be doing the backpack option. Um, I'm super excited about this, so let's get started. <music> Alrighty friends, let's get started. Once again, I'm making the backpack version and I am making this way. I am making the solid front. So I'm not making the zipper on the front. Um, so we're gonna get started. I cut all my pieces, um, the gusset, uh, my front, my back, my lining pieces. I've got my strap pieces and I've got my padding for um, my straps for my backpack and I've got a pocket. I am going to be adding one pocket to it. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my front panels and I'm going to match it right sides together here to create this color blocking. And then I'm gonna sew it. All right, now what I wanna do is I actually I'm going to top stitch this down so you can go ahead and steam it and I'm gonna give it a little top stitch here. Um, and now I'm not making the zipper pockets. I'm just going to make the inside interior slip pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. At the same time I'm doing this right here, I'm gonna prep my interior pocket. I'm gonna fold it right sides together and I'm going to sew the sides and the bottom leaving like a four inch gap here where I will turn it around when I'm done sewing it. If you wanna do the zipper pockets, you can check out our other video where I sew the three in one and I do show how to sew the zipper, the outer zipper pocket and it's the same instructions for the inside zipper pocket but just doing it on the inside piece instead of the outer piece. All right, so now for the interior slip pocket, I'm just gonna clip these corners um, while I am here. And then I'm gonna turn it through that gap that I left at the top, right side out and poke out the corners and get it nice and steamed and ready to um, attach. Here at where I left that gap, I'm going to tuck the seam allowance in because that will get top stitched down once we're sewing it to the um, interior uh, bag. All right, so if you want for like an extra look, you can top stitch this top here because that won't be top stitch when you put it on there. Um, only you're gonna top stitch the side, the bottom and the top, the two sides and the bottom. But the top, if you wanted to have a top stitching, you're gonna have to do that first before you attach it. Um, so then I'm gonna grab, this is my inner um, pocket. This is the inside pocket. Um, and I'm gonna place, see how it has this pocket shape right here? I'm gonna place that in here. And it shows me where it's supposed to go. And then I'm going to use pins. And I'm gonna sew, like I said, the side, the bottom, and the other side. You want an inside zipper pocket you can do it on the other side like this could be your back and this could be your front inner pocket and you can have them face each other on the inside and have a zipper pocket on this one and then this slip pocket on this one like i said i'm not doing the zipper pocket on this video but i did do a zipper pocket on the other video so if you're like oh, i really want a zipper pocket but i'm not super confident on it make sure you check out the other video um where we did do the zipper pocket Make sure you backstitch here at the beginning and at the end so you have a reinforced um, line. All right, now we're gonna work on our gusset. And I'm gonna tell you this, that um, I'm gonna encourage you because this is my second time making this uh, pattern. And honestly, at first I was so overwhelmed the first time I made it. I'm like, oh my goodness, looking at the instructions every two seconds. And now that this is my second time, I feel like, oh, I know what I'm doing. And it is just so quick and so easy. Um, so if you're a little bit overwhelmed and this is your first time, don't worry, it'll get easier. Just do it one step at a time and you're gonna get it just fine. You're gonna be just fine. All right, so as I say that, I realized I didn't cut enough. I cut it, I cut just two, two 
not four. Um, I'm gonna be using the same fabric for interior and exterior. So, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll use the floral for the interior. Anyway, I'm gonna go cut another two of these, but we're gonna grab our zipper and we're gonna place it right sides together with the exterior fabric. And then we're gonna cut, grab the interior and we're gonna place it right on top. All right, now that I've got all of them, I'm gonna grab my exterior. I'm gonna place my zipper right side on top of it at one of the edges. And I'm gonna grab my interior and place it right on top, the right side of the interior touching the wrong side of the zipper. So we're making a zipper sandwich. I'm gonna lift up my foot and move my zipper out of the way. I'm finishing sewing the zipper. Now I'm going to open that up. And see, here it is. This is my right side. This is the wrong side, the lining. And you can go ahead and steam this out of the way. I'm just using a roller right now to kind of get it out of the way. Because after we're done with both sides, we're gonna top stitch it. But now I've got my zipper here. I'm gonna place the other side. This is the top and the exterior. And I'm placing the other side of the zipper right side on top, just like we did earlier. And then the lining, uh, the interior, right side on top of that. So we're doing the same thing. Another zipper sandwich for the other side. I'm gonna go sew that on. All right. Now we open this up. And I'm gonna give it a nice little steam. Again, if your fabric, if you cannot steam your fabric, you wanna make sure that it's, um, like you can roll it with a little roll it or something like that. But if you're steaming it, be careful you don't burn your fabric or your zipper. All right, once that's been steamed, we're gonna go and top stitch all the way around, turn in here and then turn in here to catch it together. And then we're going to um, add the bottom gusset. All right, that gusset's looking good. This is the top gusset. So now we're gonna grab the bottom. Whoop, and we're gonna grab the um, exterior and we're gonna place the exterior right sides together with the interior. And we're gonna baste those sides. If you wanna baste those sides, but you know, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> and we're gonna grab the interior. And we're gonna put it face up and that's gonna go on the bottom. So it's gonna be a sandwich exterior right sides to the zipper and then interior right sides to the back of the zipper and we're going to sew them here at the sides right sides together right here so that whole thing together all right the gusset has been sewn here make sure you look and it's all finished on both sides so it's not like pieces are hanging out or anything and then we're gonna turn it out. So this is the outside of the gusset. This is the inner part of the gusset. And here on the side, we're going to top stitch here on this edge. Now, obviously, if you're doing, this is the backpack version. If you're doing the three in one or whatever, you'll have uh, a little uh, D-ring here that will be shoved between two of these, but I don't have that option. So I'm gonna go top stitch this and then we're gonna move on to um, finishing the backpack, putting it all together uh, and adding the straps and everything like that. Time to work on our straps. I'm gonna grab these little strap connector thingies. I'm gonna grab the longer strap, the webbing strap, and I'm gonna place it right on top of it, right side. I'm gonna leave about a half an inch hanging out at the bottom and then I'm gonna fold it right on top of itself like so. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna sew this right here at the bottom. Okay. 
Once that's sewn, I'm going to flip it over like so, and I'm going to top stitch. All right, now that this is finished, we're gonna grab our back, our exterior back. This is my exterior back, and I'm gonna place my straps with my straps facing up like towards the towards up and in two inches away from the bottom so they're gonna go up and in use this ruler that is two inches wide and then that way they're placed right at the right spot And then I'm gonna go ahead and baste these on. I'm just gonna go that, do that real quick. That's been basted. I'm gonna put this aside for a second and we're gonna work on the straps. So let's do one and then I'm gonna show you in the one and then I'm gonna show you in the others. On the wrong side of this strap, we're gonna mark where our padding is going to go. So what you can do is you can go ahead and turn to look for scissors you can cut this out you can cut the whole thing out or you can just cut like you know a little piece out here piece out so i know exactly where it goes all right and i'm gonna grab my padding if you have fusible padding then you can go ahead and fuse it all together but i don't have fusible padding so what I can do to keep it there so it doesn't move, you can use some steam seam, you can use whatever you wanna to use to, uh, for it not to move. We're going to grab our uh, fabric and see how one line has the fold inch line here on this side, but this one doesn't. So we're gonna grab the one that doesn't and fold it in first, snugly against the foam, okay? And then we're gonna grab the other side and we're gonna do that first fold. And then we're gonna fold it snugly together. So we wanna have this one all the way snugged in and then the other one, you're gonna snug it right on top. So the padding is nice and snug in there, snug as a bug. We're gonna start at the raw edge of the top and we're gonna baste all, the, we're gonna sew top stitch all the way down to the end of the padding. So here's my end of my padding. I'm gonna stop at the end of the padding. I'm not gonna go all the way down to the edge. I'm gonna stop at the end of my padding. So start at the top and sew it down, stopping at the end of the padding. I'm gonna do the same for both sides. Let me show you something. The top is a little bit shorter than, there's more room at the bottom than there is at the top. So keep that in mind because you will see that the top is shorter, you have more room at the bottom. So make sure that you keep it correct when you're sewing it up. All right, let's work on the bottom of the strap. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab our strap. The first thing was gonna grab our webbing. Doesn't matter which webbing, just make sure it's the one you're gonna use. And we're gonna mark how wide it is. So we're gonna place it right in the middle where that line is and mark the two sides. And that's in the middle, right? Then we're gonna grab this and we're gonna fold it in half to where my batting, my um, my padding is. And I'm gonna mark where the half is. So we've got the half and we got where my padding, where my strap, how wide my strap is gonna match from that padding that half padding to my strap so we're gonna clip those corners so I'm marking those corners and we're gonna cut them off corner one corner two now I'm going to grab this and open it up and here where the front the back is right here where the lines are I'm gonna cut about half of this right here. So let's say that it's an inch and a half. I'm gonna cut, cut half of this right here. So. Mm. 
All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring those corners in, one corner in, and the other corner in. You see that? I'm going to give it a steam so it stays. Because I already did this once over here, and I tried to do it without the steam, and it was not working, and I was like, ah! So now I want to measure that this is the same width right here. You see how it's the same width as my webbing? I'm going to grab this top right here, and I'm just going to fold it down and over. The webbing should be even. See how it's even right there? I'm going to go to my sew machine and sew here, here, here. We're going to sew that top stitch it down. All of, so it looked like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Top stitch that down right there. All right, we got our adjuster. We got our shorter strap. Now finish that raw edge either with a zigzag stitch or heat press, heat seal it or something because you don't want it to fry. I'm going to grab my adjuster and it's going to be, here's the top. So we're going to come in up from the bottom and then we're going to go into the other one. And here on this side, we're going to fold our strap about an inch and then we're going to secure it to itself like so. By sewing a couple lines and just like secure it right there. While we're at it on the other side, we are also going to press that and then we're going to fold up finger press about an inch in. We're going to grab our strap. Let me actually get rid of all these threads. And we're going to attach it to the wrong side. So this is the right side of the um, slider. We want that to face down. So actually I folded this the wrong way. We're going to fold it this way because we're going to attach it here at the at the edge, at the bottom, by doing like a little star shape or something, like a uh, X right here. We're attaching that on so that this strap, when it's faced up this way, you can see the right side of the buckle. I mean, it's not really a buckle, it's a slider. <laughs> All right, once again, I'm grabbing my uh, strap clipping all this thread so I'm facing the wrong side up I'm grabbing the um, strap that has the slider I'm flipping it wrong side up so this is the wrong side and that is going to get flipped down about an inch and it's gonna be placed right here and you're gonna it's gonna be stitched on okay so this is the wrong side and this is the right side. See that? I'm gonna go sew that up right there and stitch that up right here. And then we'll move on to actually attaching it to the bag. Well, let me actually show you this so that way we can base that on at the same time. We're gonna grab our back piece and we're gonna match up where the back straps are. And we're gonna attach them. We're gonna place them right there and base them right side up to our bag. I wanted to go ahead, I can go ahead and do that at the same time I'm doing. Come on. We're just gonna face them on so I can do all that at the same time. See a little triangle there? I used a thread that's like variegated, so it changes color. So it's kind of cool. It's got all the different colors. And my iron is trying to out talk me. There it is. I'm gonna do the same for the other strap and then I'm gonna base these on. All right, now from this part on, oh wait, <laughs> one last thing. I'm gonna cut a four to six, six inch uh, webbing here and I'm gonna fold it to fit right here in the middle, which this is gonna be the part that you're gonna like hang up your bag from or whatever. And we're gonna baste that on here. And then from, like I said earlier, from this part on, it's going to be just like we did on the three, three in one um, bag video. 
So I'm going to grab, I'm going to show you just real quickly, my back liner. So if you want this pocket to be in the front or in the back, wherever you want to put it, I'm going to put it in the back. I'm going to face it wrong sides together. So there's the wrong side. And I'm going to baste it all the way around. And then the front and the back, I mean the front, right and wrong sides together of the liner. And we're going to baste them together. So you've got a front and you've got your back and they're basted together. And then after they're basted together, we're going to attach your, um, your gusset all the way around on both. And we're going to put your binding on the inside. Now, these are the same exact steps that are on videos for the backpack, the three in one backpack. So if you want to see a close up of that, go ahead and check out that video. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to come back and show you just exactly how it looks. But again, this, the next few steps are on that video. So go check it out. All right, friends, we are done with this backpack style. I love the front of it. Um, this nice wide zipper so you can open it all the way up and put all your stuff in there. The binding along the inside makes a pop for like adding a pop of color and it also helps to stiffen out the edges of your bag so when it it will lay nice and flat here in the corners. Um, I got the slip pocket on here. Like I said, if you want to check out the other, the zipper pockets and how to do the welt pocket and stuff like that, check out our other video where I show that on there. Um, I love, I think this is my favorite version, the backpack version. I just, I love a good backpack. I am like a sucker for a backpack and I love the cushiony straps on this one. It just looks adorable. I actually love the combination of these two fabrics together as well. I just love throwing a backpack on and heading out the door with all my supplies inside of it. I feel like a schoolgirl, I guess. I don't know, um, but I really love it. Now, if you were questioning about other steps that I did not show in this video, please make sure you check out our other video, uh, the three in one video, uh, so you can see those steps more closely. Um, also, if you are a little bit intimidated by this, so, don't be. You know, the first time I sewed it up, the first version I sewed up, I was a little bit intimidated because there's a lot of steps. And I'm like, can I do this? I don't know. And then this time, and I did, and it turned out great. But then this time, the second time through it, I was like, oh, this is so easy. And I was just whipping through the steps. I barely even looked at the instructions. I mean, I did because, you know, we got to look at the instructions. But um, it just went so well and so much quicker because I already had it in my mind what it is that I was supposed to do next. So um, anyway, don't be intimidated. If you need to make that first scrap, I would do like one that's super simple like this one without straps and just get the feel for it and then dive in with your nice fabric and go for it. You can do it. I'm super excited for you. So go grab this pattern, come back and sew it up with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.